Why isn't there a king bee? Well, to understand bees, we have to recognize that queen bee is a bit of a misnomer. Technically, the queen bee is the only reproductive female in the whole colony, but she doesn't have any political power, deliver moving speeches, or do charity work like a real human queen might. Since the colony is considered a superorganism, you could say the queen bee is analogous to the reproductive system. More specifically, the queen bee represents the ovaries and uterus. Her role is to ensure the continuation of the colony. Queen bees can live for several years, far outliving both worker bees, which typically live four to six weeks, and drone bees, which only live a few weeks. Now that we know the role queen bees occupy in this living organism we call a beehive, we might wonder, is there a male bee that plays a similar reproductive role? Technically, yes, and they are called drone bees, but their role is a bit different. Drone bees exist solely to mate with a queen from another hive. They leave the hive and head to drone congregation areas, where drones from multiple colonies gather, waiting for virgin queens to arrive, kind of like those old school movies where bachelors search for the virgin gal. What can I do for you? You can die slowly, cut into a thousand pieces. Once the virgin queen arrives from another colony and takes her nuptial flight, the drones chase her, and several of them mate with her midair, like horny teenagers. After mating with multiple drones, the queen stores the sperm in her body for the rest of her life to fertilize eggs. Meanwhile, after each drone has done the deed, dies, because the mating process damages its reproductive organs beyond repair. If we were to compare drones to a part of the human body, they would be like sperm cells. What about the worker bees? In the summer months, worker bees typically live for four to six weeks because they are constantly foraging, which wears them out quickly. During the winter, when they remain inside the hive, they can live for several months as they conserve energy and help keep the hive warm. So, I'd say that we see the queen bee and drones as part of the reproductive system. Likewise, the worker bees are analogous to the rest of the body as they defend, coordinate, process food, and pump resources and energy to the colony. Together, these roles form a whole living organism we call a beehive, which is a structure built for efficiency. In the wild as a whole living organism, honeybee colonies are highly selective about their nesting sites. Scout bees are who are responsible for finding potential locations for this living organism to thrive, and, over time, the bees build a consensus. The site that receives the most enthusiastic and frequent dances wins. This process is democratic, as no single bee makes the decision. Instead, the group collectively decides on the best site by evaluating and promoting the options.